startling sign staring down on the city, reading simply as you see, I hate Boston. These things seem to pop up out of nowhere. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Chris Tanaka. And I'm Paula Eben. Of course, it's getting a big reaction, oh, wow. as you can imagine. So what's it all about? WBZ's Christina Rex went to find out. Boston, what's not to love? The sights, the sounds. All the sports, the water, the restaurants. But there is a site over the North End right now that's turning locals, tourists, and even the birds' heads. What, what is that about? I hate Boston. That's right, plastered on a billboard. I don't like it. Why not? Because I love Boston. I mean, I hate Boston traffic, but I don't hate Boston, <laughs> that's for <I> sure. <laughs> I don't hate Boston. You must be from New York if you hate Boston. All right, we had to get to the bottom of this. Was this billboard just thrown up here by some angry Yankees fan who hates the city of Boston? Not exactly. She said, yes, it's from me. A little social media sleuthing, and we discovered a famous singer is to blame. Renee Rapp, known for her work on Broadway and TV, put that billboard up. It's a vague ad for a song of the same name on her album that comes out Friday. Because it's more fun when people don't know and are very curious as to why I would do such a thing. And it is to incite um, fights and argument. Because you guys are very good at that and you love that. We had to ask. Do you really hate Boston? I've prepared something and I have an answer. Dear Boston, your accents, though harsh, are always memorable. Unlike any performance from your beloved Celtics, and don't get me started on your Red Sox. Yes, I had my heart broken by one of your own, but I know I cannot place that blame on you, dear Boston. I'm sorry for the slander. I love you forever, but I do hate that man. A Boston breakup song to look forward to on Friday. And some people in town were in on the joke. I was at Faneuil Hall and sprinted around on the North End until I found it. This Renee fan thinks it's a brilliant marketing ploy. I feel like it'll get people talking, so I feel like it'll be good, like, promo for the album. In Boston, Christina Rex, WBZ News.